One of the most exciting things about a new year is that you have no idea what adventures are going to be in store for you from new travel experiences to new jobs or picking up new skills. There's no better way to prepare for 2023 than by learning a new language with Babbel. Babbel is a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. All right. I started taking some, some Spanish lessons, which is very, very exciting. I mean, I'm not fluent yet. It's not giving fluent yet. But honey, Argentina, Barcelona, uh, Mexico City, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be talking to everybody, honey. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Now, right now, get up to 55% <laughs> off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash rivalry. That's babbel.com slash rivalry for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel. Language for life. We are currently on episode four of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. And Snatch Game is like Christmas coming early. The Snatch Game came early today. Yeah, it's already, it's already Snatch Game, which is wild to me. To me. They're um, breaking up the pattern. It, Snatch Game is normally clearly. like episode six or seven. I'm going to say right now, I did, I did not like this idea. I think the Snatch Game should have stayed where it was. I, I think we sacrificed too much to have two Snatch Games. I agree. I think it was. Or what they should have done, in my opinion, they should have broken it up. Kind of like how they do, do a double premiere. They should have done seven girls and just focus on those seven girls for that, for that Snatch Game. And then next week, episode five, do another seven girls. And one girl still goes home both weeks. Maybe they'll do another Snatch Game in the middle of the season. Could you imagine? you imagine? <laughs> so as they, as they come over from- hiding behind your microphone. <laughs> oh, that was like <laughs> Amy. That's, you ever you ever see like you ever be like, in front of a guy with a big dick and it looks like this? You be like, oh, we were talking about this the other day. I have not had that experience. Bob, who's hiding behind a dick like that? No, you, no, you're just looking at it. You're like, oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're talking about it, about us uh, sucking a dick too long. I was like, Bob, have you ever? Sucked the dick and you got and it was it was going on too long. You got tired. But I was like, no, no, never not once. <laughs> some of us have stamina and some of us don't do cardio. Clearly, um, I mean, you have to do throat throat cardio, and clearly you don't do any of it. I um, do throat cardio, but I once upon a time I was confronted with a dick. Then I, I, I I'm not kidding y'all. No exaggeration. I was sucking the dick for about an hour and fifteen minutes, and I was and it wasn't even light fun work. At that light work. <laughs> like, bitch. I once sucked a dick all the way through Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were you saying about how Mo Monet was too vulgar on this podcast earlier? Right, she is. Monet is too vulgar. You, Monet's way too vulgar. <laughs> Wait, Monet, can you read that Reddit comment I sent you? I can pull oh. it up really quickly. Oh, I got it, Jacob. I got it right here, baby. Let me, let me read this Reddit comment that. I was like, oh, my God, I feel so seen. I feel heard. I feel safe. I feel protected. Here we go. This was from um, Reddit user OnlyFanOnlyOne. Here's the title. Yeah, this, this is Monet's only fan, and he is the only one. Continue. <laughs> Does Bob Gaslighting Monet make anyone else uncomfortable? Although I love some rivalry, whenever Monet says anything, and Bob immediately calls her a liar and says all the stuff and just straight up gaslighting Monet, I don't really find it funny. It just makes me feel bad for Monet. And on to the fact that Bob is always the one saying that Monet is gaslighting when, when in reality, it's Bob. It's frankly disgusting. I want to now I want to come out. This literally has zero upvotes. I mean, it has literally... 125 comments, though. It it it, it, liter it literally has zero upvotes, and the number one comment is "Nice try, Monet," with five hundred and six upvotes. Nice try. <laughs> so the other one, another top one comment is "Monet be lying though." That's a very popular uh -huh. one. But literally, the other one hundred and twenty-four nope. comments are like. You know what? I will read. I will read them all. Prepared. I will not skip any. You aren't in their friendship, so don't. This post is camp. It's just me going. I understand your concern, but I do not share the same concern. Am I being gaslit by this post? Oh dear, I'm not sure. A podcast or everyone. Five bucks that Monet wrote this. We live for you and your and our gaslight queen. Uh, Reminder oh, people, you don't know these people in real queen. life. Wait till you find out they're really men in wigs. Hear me out. Is it possible that Bob's drag queen is the queen of comedy? Joking. Please go outside. Um, so I'm reading every. Literally, there are literally, and I'm not being exaggerative. Zero, and I mean zero. Comments being like, yeah, I agree. Every someone comment just is like, said, someone just said, yes, I stand it. my gaslight queen. You just read it. 
No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it to you because you, you said yes, I stand my gas like queen. Oh, I I love that you I love that you pick and choose the things. I love you you pick. Did, just you, the, did you not? Did, did listen, I I'm, I'm gonna read it back to you because you love to pick just the giblets, just the gibberish. You just you are honestly your level of delusion. You you you're giving these girls a run for their money. I love it. I love it. The oh, comment bro. said, and I hope I can find it again. It says five bucks. Monet wrote this. No, no, no. Five you bucks. Mo- let, let me read it. Of- up, up, up. It's the same comment. Five bucks. Monet wrote this. We love um you and our gaslight queen. They're calling you one two Monet. You. No, they're calling you the gaslight. Queen. And it says five bucks. Monet wrote this. So Monet, sure. literally, the comment, the comment is down. I don't have access to the post, so I can't read it in the comments. What you don't J- have Reddit? Jacob just sent me. Th- don't Jacob worry. Just I'll text it to you. Don't worry. I'll text it to you. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So now, if you look at your text messages, you now have access to the post. So you have, now, you have a you have a you have an Android, so I don't think I'll get it today. Probably by tomorrow morning, I should have it. Now tell me now tell me more about your gaslighting. Anyway, on to the episode, <laughs> honey, and I'll be reposting it on my Twitter so you all can look at how they're dragging this Monet. Yeah, sub- no one is, this, no one is, this, one is this is Monet. Me. This is Monet. She devil. This is Monet. She devil. This is your account. This is clearly your second account that you've made. So obviously, it's either you or one of your delusional sponges. And yeah. on to the episode. Now anyway, that you've been, now that you've been cleared, this is honey, not rivalry. Like, this is even now watchery. That, now that you've been cleared, like my sinuses, <laughs> they're clearly not because we go here about seven more times this episode. So they ain't let's clear. move on. <laughs> Amy, Amy, Amy. Oh, I, I can't. When I type her name, I, I don't know how to spell Amy. Though. I just type Amy, and her her Twitter says Amy. Oh. Amy is uh Amy is like I'm not maybe Amy's having an existential crisis and she doesn't know if she's funny or not. She's like I'm known for being funny and now I'm not funny. This is a problem which is um concerning to say the least and I never say the least. <laughs> Well, she uh, she she's known for her comedy. That's something she's known for in her scene. She's from she's not from Seattle. Where's she from? Connecticut. Connecticut. She's known. And honestly, if if you just assume Connecticut on this cast, you're probably be right. <laughs> At least uh, I don't know about math. I can't figure that out. Anyway, um, and then Lux has this moment where she <laughs> Lux is having um, she's having a a a a, a high. Th- she's placed in the hypothetical top three outside of who, who Sasha being the winner. She's saying that Sasha's first, Lux herself is second, and Lucy was third. And Lucy's like, uh-uh, I'm second, you're third. And But also, like, honestly, like, like, like competing to be, can be, to compete, Lux and Leduc, Lucy, like, arguing to see who's second place is so cringy. It's like, bitch, y'all, like, what? It's like, a little weird. It is. It's like it's. It's like I'm in second place. No, I'm like bitch. You like and the winners over there. Like girl, this is. I. It was embarrassing for me to watch personally. How did you it was feel? A little, it was a little weird. I thought. I thought it was a little strange. Something to argue. Um, but I also. But also, it doesn't. I mean, I. I guess for TV, it's fun. It's fun for TV. But yeah, for sure. Lu- Lucy and Lux both, in my opinion, seem to be thinking up until this point. They're both thinking they're doing a lot better than they're doing. Like, they're both doing fine. But well, but I don't know. So it's 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 strange. This is feeding into this from episode one, we're three or four episodes in now. Well, we're getting this narrative of how delusional Lux is. Like from episode one, literally the first thing, thinking that her wig is 40 inches when it's 22, thinking that she is uh thinking that she that she crushed the challenge, but she didn't. You know what I mean? Like, so I think that we're, we're they're painting this picture of Lux being very delusional. I mean, are they painting it or is Lux painting? Well, that's it? what I meant. Uh, the, the the story we're getting of Lux is that she's delusional. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, every time we talk, every time we visit Lux, she's talking about how she's winning, how she's gonna win. She she hasn't done anything yet to win, and now uh, Lux and your twinner, and you and yes and yes, you do have to pick sides. And yes, you do have to pick sides. I want the mac and cheese and the collard greens. <laughs> so, I mean, I we'll talk about this real quick before we get into the episode because we're not quite there yet. Actually, let, let's do it in order. We'll we'll get there because we, we yeah, got we'll a lot get there. To. It has to pertain to to the to, to the game of Snatch. As it pertains to this, yeah. Um, now they're doing a Snatch game and two. They're doing two Snatch games. So, 
I guess half the girls never even got to see the other Snatch Game. They just heard about it. They they saw it when we fucking saw it. You know what I mean? It's what we did for pretty much what we did for All Star Seven, except it was the same girls both time. But they do the Snatch Game. You've done so double Snatch Game twice, haven't you? No, no. The first one was Snatch Game of Love. So oh I mean, first, oh you and y'all were, were the first ones to ever do the new Snatch Game. We were. Oh yeah, yeah. You, season, that was yeah. the first. Because I remember because I remember helping, helping Naomi and we didn't know it'd be a Snatch Game of Love and she got there and she couldn't do some of her bits. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think, I personally think, Bob and I are talking about this, I think they should have done, this, this episode focused on seven girls, like the first group, it would have been all about them, their Snatch Game, and their runaways and del deliberation. The next week's episode would have been the next seven, and then someone would have went home both episodes. I think that that would have been more fun for us, because things happened so fast, we didn't get any Rue walkthroughs, we didn't get- yeah, I hate that Rue, we, we didn't get to have Rue, listen to Rue- Tell a girl why she shouldn't do her Snatch Game character. Right. And that's my my favorite moment is when Rue tells a girl not to do the Snatch Game character she wants to do, and then she does it anyway. That, those are my that is one of my favorite mainstays in RuPaul's Drag Race. GG Good. Or RuPaul looking at the uh things and guessing guessing what the they're gonna be. You have like a pen, a stapler, and a cross, and he's like, I'm getting Britney Spears. <laughs> or, or or RuPaul cackling. Cackling. <laughs> No, 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 that, that's her chuckle. Her cackle is, ah, 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like um, she needs a glass of water, girl. Right. Um, I, do, I want to say this. When they, when Rue comes to tell, Rue is wearing his Met Gala look. And it looks yeah. very, I, I love when a pant hits the floor perfectly. I mean, for as much money that fucking outfit costs, I bet the mother, the mother, the mother better, better touch the floor, sweep the floor, and clean clean up after it, too. And then every time I've noticed, this is the third episode, fourth episode, anytime Rue is talking to, when Rue comes to give them the, the more hello, 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 hello message, Jax always looks like a little kid who is about to get in trouble. Have you noticed this? Jax stands with his hands in front of his body like this, and he's like. I've I've not noticed that. I will, I will, I will, I will look for that now. Yes, it's. I don't know why Jax looks like a little kid. First of all, they they looks they present so young. I don't know how old Jax is, but Jax presents very young. Well, I think it might be because that Jax is short. Like I don't think Jax is doing anything to, to particularly present young or dressing young. Like that, like Jax isn't in like a backpack with like a Dora the Explorer backpack back, with some Skechers on. Back. I think that Jax <laughs> is just uh, is a is a is five three, yeah. and just kind of comes off as young. Um, uh, she's twenty five. 25 years old so um i also real quick i think that the twins should have done the same snap they should have done a uh, compliment i know i know i said they shouldn't do this anymore but in this instance i think they should have done complimentary snatch games that's so funny you say that because i was saying knowing someone else because they obviously know each other were going that is a perfect way to do two characters and even before you get there come with canned bits for interacting like all, all, the, all, all, all the bits they've been planning all the time. They didn't plan any bits for Snatch Game. You and Cracker didn't plan any bits for Snatch Game. Y'all knew y'all were going. I didn't know Cracker was going for sure. Cracker didn't tell me. We talked about this. Really? No. Um, I think that um, honestly, Sugar should have done Spice and Spice should have done Sugar. No. I'm, I don't second that. Imagine if they did each other. No. No. Um, so at so at this point, whether whether we're going over who's gonna go who, who's doing who, um, Lux says that she's doing Amanda Lepore, and then out of nowhere, someone well, someone goes, Well, are you Mistress. nervous that someone the mistress said, Are you nervous that um that someone's already done this? And then she goes, Well, she didn't do a good job, so no. And I was and, and, and now so now Lux and Trinity are online like going back and forth. And I guess Lux is like Lux tweeted like you can like and and laugh at all these comments like dragging me but it won't make your um it won't make your blah 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 your snatch game any better the, the tweet was liking and laughing at tweets about how my snatch game was horrible and how i'm arrogant and delusional won't make yours any memorable or funnier because it wasn't lol halo emoji so then so then trinity tweeted back at her 11 wins still waiting for at least one done with this conversation and she said mind you i didn't throw the first punch but i'm no punk y'all y'all already know you talk shit you get a reply and i clicked on this post trinity is everyone who comments something trinity is lacerating them oh no trinity stay on twitter <laughs> honey tweet 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 but, I, um, I think trinity trinity might be elon musk and drag I mean, she did. I mean, Lux did, Lux did randomly come for uh, Trinity, who was, just, who was just sitting at home 
minding her business, watching, walking her dogs in Florida. And then, and then she was like, well, she didn't do a good job. And I mean, I don't think that, that Trinity did a great snatch game. I mean, Trinity, I think Trinity, has she won snatch game twice or once? She won it. She won it as twice. Caitlyn Jenner. No, she won a Caitlyn Jenner. She didn't win. Who won it? Yeah, it was no, Trinity she... and Jinx. Yes. Trinity has won snatch game twice. Wait, no, they didn't tie. Trinity and Jinx didn't tie. Yes, they did. They both they didn't tie, but they were two winners. And oh, they... yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. So Trinity Trinity has won snatch game two times now. She's done it four times. Technically, because y'all did it no. one, twice in one. Because you did it twice in one. Oh. one, one. Right, so she's right, done right. snatch game four times. And she's three of those four twice. characters were slam dunks. <clears throat> Um, I would say two of the four were slam dunks, and uh, and uh, one was good. I mean, I, I think that her her devil was a little better than no, her her Leslie Jordan was better. Anyway, than the devil. That, that's not the point. The point is Trinity does have a and Trinity <clears throat> holds the record for the most wins yes. in Drag Race history. And also, and I'm gonna say Tr- Trinity has on um, every season she's participated, she's made it to the final. She's done a great. Trinity has had a great show on Drag Race every time. So to come, Lux, might make, Lux might make it to the finale too. You never know. She might, but at this point in both the in all three seasons that Trinity competed in, she had won by now. That is true. Trinity is Trinity is a powerhouse in terms of um of RuPaul's Drag Race and yeah. and and specifically in 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 improving and snatch game. She has. Yeah. Made quite a name for herself in pretty much every improv and snatch game challenge. So the girls are going around talking about what characters are doing, and Malaysia says she says I'm doing Saucy Santana because I relate to him. I'm like, I that think is they're not, both from Tampa. I think they're game from Tampa. That's not a but just because you, the, the the competition is not is not who do you relate to the most, who do you identify with? It's which who can you make funny? I relate to him. I was like, girl, what? Yeah, I I mean to be fair, I I did say that a part of re- I I did say the reason why I, why I chose Carol Channing is because people some ask me why do you like Carol Channing and I said it's because I relate to her, but it's not why I did Carol Channing. I chose Carol Channing because she has a very funny voice, right. um, and a very specific look. Same with Uzo Aduba, has an interesting voice and a unique look. Um, yeah, and yeah, there there were some choices. I mean, we should, we might as well go ahead and jump in because most of the episode is. So should we go one by one? It's in, and what would you give them a scale of one to ten? Did you say good or bad? What do you think? I think I would say I, we can rate them on a, on a scale of one to ten. I like that. I think it's a little, okay. a little more nuanced than just good or bad. Well, well okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try. So Marsha as Tim Gunn. I have always wanted to see Tim Gunn on Snatch Game. I've always wanted to do Tim Gunn on Snatch Game. Her look is this look. She looks great. Is great. She looks like the voice was great. I knew who she was immediately. Yeah. Even sure. if she didn't have her name in front of her, I would have known who she was immediately. And she had a few good moments. Nothing really blew me out of the blew me out of the park. I would give her between her looking at her performance, I give her an, a a seven and a half eight. Well, I like that she was volleying with other people. Like she would like she would try like from the first from the from right when she was meeting other characters, she was making jokes and cracking them. And that looked so good to Rue because Rue was like, okay, you're playing the yeah. games. And so I would give her I would give her an eight for sure. I I would give her an eight. To be fair, this whole group was underwhelming. Let me just say, Marsha, I mean, the Marcia, whole group was underwhelming. Lux, this group one, Marsha, Lux, Mistress Anisha, Robin, Aslina, uh, Malaysia, as a group, the other group was much more impactful. Even though there were some really big misses, they were at least taking big swings. And it felt like the only one in this group interested in taking a big swing was Selena. And kind of Marsha. Selena was taking some huge swings. I but baby, disagree, I think, Bob. I think Robin, Anitra, Lux, and Malaysia might as well have just been sitting on their thumbs. Like, I, Malaysia I barely did anything. Lux barely did anything. Anitra, I mean, we'll go down. Let's go one by one. Well, but, but but also, we. I will say... On both teams, there were only three people who were engaging and being funny at all. And I think that maybe Saucy, sorry, Malaysia, Lux, and Ani- and Rob, they were trying to say stuff, but it just weren't funny, so they just didn't make the, the edit. I disagree. I, I mean, let's go through the whole thing. Let's, okay, let's Lux. Go let's talk about okay. Lux, Lux, Lux as Amanda Lepore. I thought that, again, we didn't see much of her. I mean, I think for doing a look, at least she really, she. this is a black Amanda Lepore. I, I would identify the character. Would I know who it is without the paper? Probably not. But she had nothing funny to say, and she was not great. I would give her a three. But who did who did it better, her or, or Trinity? I don't I don't remember Trinity's first Amanda Lepore. I really don't. oh my god, you said you said Trinity's was unmemorable. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So um, Trinity's but, was shit. Oh my but, god. But judging by Trinity's, 
uh, Snatch Games after that, I would say Trinity. I, but I have not, I don't remember Trinity. Not the Twinners are fighting. Not the Twinners are fighting. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Um. <laughs> Um. Well, I, I, Lux's cheek prosthetics were not great, which is annoying me. I could see the entire edge, the of white, which was just yeah. driving me insane. Um, and and it wasn't good. I would give her a four. It was not. It was. It was not memorable at all. It wasn't. But the thing about it is, like, and we'll get to the twins later. At least with Spice, Spice was swinging huge. She was missing the biggest, but at least she was like taking risk. You know what I mean? But sometimes in Smash game, don't if you know that you if you know that you are if you know you're not gonna hit the ball, bitch, then don't swing. And that I can respect. At least you're trying to fly under the radar. I think Spice and Sugar they put big targets on their backs because they were so yeah. bad. I mean, let's not skip ahead. All right, Malaysia, yeah. baby, Malaysia might as well have just sat there out of drag and just and just <laughs> like I I legit am gagged. She <laughs> might as well have just sat there in her confessional look, and then. It was, she was just doing it herself, and then she would occasionally just quote a Santana song. Yeah, and I mean, she did look like Saucy Santana, though. I will say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah her look is her look. I'm gonna give her a look on a scale of ten and a nine and a half. The look was good. Yeah. I wish she would have had a better beard instead of whatever she used. But yeah. this look was great. But also, like Saucy's voice is. I yeah, he's not, he's not like that. That's not Saucy not. sounds like a cisgendered woman. Like yeah. Saucy's voice is like. I want Shanna and I boots. Saw these niggas steady jacking because they know I'm the truth. I can't, even, I, can't even, I can't even do his voice. So she didn't. Yeah. She didn't. But she went in with a character who has a really specific voice, a huge internet personality. She yeah. didn't twerk. We never saw her ass. You're, yeah. How are you gonna be Santana and not show anybody? You're right. not gonna talk about your ass. You're not gonna say anything. About, you're not gonna say nothing about your ass. You, never. Not once. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. What say? What? What do you give her? Uh, overall, because her 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 look is an, is a nine and a half, and her performance, I'm gonna give it a three, so I'm gonna give her a five. Okay, so then you have to do that for Lux then. You didn't get that for Lux. Okay, Lux's look is like a. I'm gonna give Lux's look like a seven, and her performance like a three, so she gets a five too. Okay, um, uh, Saucy, yeah, I give Saucy overall. I give Saucy a four. Even look and and thing, I I think it was a, even though the look was good, we just didn't hear anything from Saucy and there was not. I don't remember seeing. I don't think even his first thing was a joke. So I don't even. And the, and the thing about Saucy, I know you guys said they they, they didn't show Malaysia a lot, but there's a chance that they didn't show her because it just wasn't interesting enough. Like it wasn't bad enough. It wasn't good enough. Yeah. If it's bad, they will show it. If it's good, <laughs> they will show it. And if it's boring and they have to get to fucking, four, what, four, 14, 15 girls? In, 40, in 41 minutes and 27 seconds, too. Yeah. They're, 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 they're going to they're gonna cut to a clip of Saucy going, Hi, no. <laughs> they, they, no. Okay. Let's go on to Mistress Isabel Brooks as Rosie O'Donnell. I thought, Mistress, I thought Mistress was so fucking funny. Did she look like Rosie O'Donnell? No, but... When she with, with her, at least Mistress has this like southern accent. Her her committing to this New York bit and having the attitude. I, I thought her Rosie O'Donnell was stunning. I give Mistress a nine. She literally looks like Ginger Minch. I, <laughs> I'm gonna look at this picture and tell me that's not just Ginger Minch. Ginger Minch in, in dark hair. Yeah, I see it. Especially the way that um, she highlights. Right, like like in this one, she's like Ginger Minch. Um, you know, it, it wasn't a good Rosie like. First of all, I would I think that this, she's doing obviously doing Rosie from the TV show when Rosie was in when Rosie was closeted. Yeah. I personally think that the salt and pepper short haircut Rosie is more interesting visually. Where's how she looks now? Now she oh. has short hair and her hair is gray. Um also Rosie Dona has a very, very small mouth. Like Mr. Rosie does too. Rosie's mouth, I mean, you can only make your mouth so small. Rosie's mouth actually kind of looked like Donald Trump's mouth. Rosie O'Donnell and Donald Trump kind of have the same mouth. They also kind of have the same accent because they're both New Yorkers. I didn't and realize Rosie O'Donnell was from New York. She's yeah, you didn't. Rosie O'Donnell has a thick accent. I know. I thought it was. I thought she was maybe like just from this area, maybe like Jersey. I didn't know she was from New York. Oh, she's fine. She's oh, bitch. She's from Comac, New York. Where the hell is Comac? Long Island. She's from Long Island. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be some, um, some upstate bullshit. No, Rosie Donna has a very thick Long Island accent. Um, 
And I don't know. This, this was this was she, but she was funny. And the ultimate game of Snatch Game is not to perfectly impersonate; it is to be funny. Um, I'm gonna give her an eight. Work. Okay, Anitra. Is, okay, I'm intrigued when girls don't want to not do drag, so they just say they're so they say they're someone's sisters. Kim Chi did this. Kim Chi didn't want to do Kimmy drag. G- what do you mean they don't want to do drag? They don't want to. They don't want to be out of drag. They don't want to be in boy drag. Uh, so they cause, just cause do because it's the Gordon Ramsay should have to be as a boy. Yeah, so yeah. Kim Chi did it. Kim Chi was Kimmy Jong Un instead of Kim yeah. Jong Un. Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen super often, but it does happen every once in a while. Someone's like, "I'm a famous person's sister." Yeah, I am. I am. I am a Bobolina, the drag queen. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> it was an odd choice because Gordon. If 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 you're gonna pick Gordon Ramsay's sister, then you have to be the po- a funny thing. I think either you are, are mean and nasty like him. Or the polar opposite, like you are just spitting unicorns and rainbows. Because Gordon Ramsay is a fucking prick. He is you fucking stupid cut. Don't cut the fucking stupid. Like he is like mean. So Not, why does opposite. he have? Why does he have an American accent? Because I <laughs> oh yeah, wait, see, he's British or Australian. He's British, yeah, he's okay. British. Yeah. Um. So the thing about Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay is British, but his main thing, like like Monet pointed out, is that he's mean. Like Gordon Ramsay is blunt. Gordon Ramsay is vicious. Gordon Ramsay will say it. Have you Gordon Ramsay does that not. Con- he's like he put. The oh, the, yeah, you're you're a, a, a dumb a idiot sandwich or some shit. Like, and he also calls you. What does he call? What does he call? What does Gordon Ramsay call you when you're an, when you're he, a, a, a you're a, a a a toad? No, there's something that Gordon Ramsay calls you when a you're bloke? being stupid. No, it's like a you're a thumb. You're a you're a you're a toad. You're a a bump. You're a log. Or there's something he says. <laughs> There's something, that Gordon, there's something Gordon Ramsay calls you. Oh, Colleen, about to get yelled at. Um, there's something Gordon Ramsay calls you. Oh. Colleen, get! Get! Colleen, get! <laughs> um, there's something he calls you when, when you... Anyway, the thing is, like, she wasn't mean, and her and her British accent wasn't good. And yeah. also, Gordon Ramsay does this thing where he acts like he's going to insult you, and then he's very nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, who made this cheese stick? Who is it? And he raised your hand. He goes, "This cheese stick is absolutely the best thing I've ever had in my life." Yeah, it's changed my thoughts as a chef. You've made like and like she didn't, she didn't do any any. Bitch, I don't bits. know what accent you doing. Where the I don't know though. Bitch, where, where was that Icelandic? No, I said who? I said who made this cheese stick? There we go. There we go. Bob who made it? <laughs> Um, she she didn't do only thing she did was go to rest was she had a British accent and she wore a, a chef coat. Like yeah. I don't get I honestly I don't understand why she would choose this. This was a really <laughs> bad choice. Was this is a choice. very it's, 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 it also seems like she doesn't know anything about Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, maybe she just likes watching the show and she thought it would be funny, but I was like, why would you not I don't I don't understand a choice to not play this character just like him, absurdly mean. Or a pull up. I just, it, she was just very middle of the road. She, it was like she was just herself talking about food. Yeah, it was just her. Yeah, with with a, with a bad British accent and, and a chef's coat. <laughs> it, was it was very, very strange. I'm going to give this a three. I give it a four. Now let's go on to Robin, Robin Fierce, Fierce as Karen Hugger. I'm assuming, she's a house. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't watch Housewife. I don't know this woman at all. I think I don't know her at all, but I'm pretty sure she's from Housewives of, of of Potomac. And when other people play, I mean, I didn't watch that season. I don't know a whole bunch about Potomac, but in the Housewives canon, like even if you don't watch the show, you know the ones that are like memorable. You know Teresa Judice. You know Carolyn Manzo. You know Bethany Frankel. You know uh, uh, Nene Leakes. You like you know the ones that like. Why would you choose Karen Hunter? And it was again Hugger. Oh, hugger. There is nothing about this. Hugger, bitch. I just met her. Sorry. Also, she looks like Wendy Williams. She's not Wendy fucking Williams. Um, but there was nothing about this bitch that was memorable, exciting, fun. She tried to drum up something about some housewives thing. If you knew housewives, you'd find it funny, I guess. But again, this was something that was so middle of the road and not exciting at all. Yeah, I just can't imagine why you would choose. I, and I feel like the only reason she chose Karen Hugger is because someone once said, girl, you kind of look like Karen Hugger. I can't think of any other reason why she would choose Karen Hugger. If as someone who doesn't watch Housewives, if you're gonna do Housewives, like when they said, do here the here are your options: all Great, future drag race greatest hits, Nene Leakes, Brandy Glanville, mm-hmm. um, uh, 
Kim Zolciak, Vanderpump, uh, uh, Vanderpump, uh, prostitution whore, <laughs> um, <laughs> Teresa Judice, Bethany. Um, Bethany Frankel, and uh, who's the one? Um, I can't remember any others, but like or, or, or Andy Cohen. Oh my God, Andy Cohen. Yeah. You got to do Andy Cohen. Yeah, bro. I love, yeah, Andy Cohen. That would be, be a good one. Um, but yeah, this was this was. I mean, girl, Robin might as well have just been just sitting there. Robin, Robin might as well have just been sitting there. I think a lot of these girls are so lucky that it was so many girls because it let they were, it, it it allowed a lot of people to hide. Because if it was like if it was only these seven people, let's 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 say it was only these seven girls. This was our seven that did it. Bitch, it would have been a different story, but there were so many places yeah. to hide because it was so big. I give Robin a four. It's easy to get lost in the sauce, and they are very lucky they did. I'm giving Robin a four too. Lost Selena S. Titties. I think Selena S. Titties was definitely the. Uh, she did the biggest chances here. She wasn't always succeeding. Yeah. Every once in a while, she would do something funny. Selena was kind of pulling a little bit of what Amethyst was pulling. She, as soon as Jacob told me that she did Virgin Mary, I was like, "What is she slutty or horny?" Like I, I immediately was like, what is it? A slutty, Virgin Mary, and uh, but she ended up being horny, so it's, it's kind of the same thing. Like, and she, I, she, I mean, immediately in the first thing, I'm a hor- I'm just horny. It's like, girl, save it, like save it. Sure, I did like her first bit when Ruth talked. Um, so we had the Virgin Mary, and she could, um, Ruth, my God, I, I, I love, I missed you at our at our last supper or whatever she said. I, I think it was it was a great opening joke, and I think it was really set her. I thought they were setting her up to like be the best of this group. I mean, Virgin Mary was not at the Last Supper, but go ahead. I, I but I, I get what she's. Yes, we we know she wasn't there. It was Jesus and the disciples, but in oh, so the, you think it, so you think it really happened? It wow. absolutely did happen. Wow. Um. Anyway, so I thought it was setting her up to be the best on this group, but she kind of like she started really high and kind of like went down a bit. But I agree with you. I think Selena did make really big big risks, and she was and she came with the, the whole baby prosthetic, and she was gonna have the thing, and she was throwing up because she had morning sickness. I like that she came prepared. I'm like anyone, none of no one else. Well, not anyone else. The four that we talked about, they seemed to prepare nothing. Like they had no idea snatch game was fucking happening. Also, you're not gonna bring a baby Jesus. Like you're, you're just you're just not gonna bring. You're gonna be Virgin Mary, be pregnant. You're not gonna have a baby. Deliver the baby. Yeah. Honestly, if she'd have had a little baby on a cross, Bob. They, first of all, I don't think they would let her. They would not let her put that on TV. She'd have been like, they would not let her do that. Not, did you see like, how the lights? The lights went out when her when she was talking about Jesus. Do you, do you believe? Do you believe that's a coincidence or like? What do you think about that? No, I think they were just playing with her, girl. No, you think the producers were fucking with her. Yes, um, um, I give Selena. I would give Selena cities. And eight because she came with stuff. She was prepared. I like she was really big, and I, I give Selena an eight. I'm gonna give her a six and a half, uh, seven. Um, yeah, I'm trying to go through my notes about this this section. Like Karen, Saucy, and Karen Georgina and barely got any camera time. Yeah, and it's probably because they were not. There were some moments with with, with Selena that were uncomfortable. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna give her a I'm gonna give her a six and a half seven. Um, what do you who do you, who do you think is the best of this group? I'm gonna give the best one to Mistress Isabel Brooks, and then I'm gonna I give agree. second place to Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I would agree. I would agree with that. But this group was the, un, in my opinion, the uh, the underperforming group, and and, and especially in terms of like it being good TV because it was just this this whole first group, in my opinion, was not an interesting snatch game because they were just so timid as a whole. Interesting you say that. Let's go, let's go to the second group because I'm looking at the second group. There was only one person that was funny here, and it was fucking Lucy. And in No. My, who else was funny? Amethyst was funny. There were some moments where I was actually laughing at Amethyst. She was funny, but I mean, I, I, okay, I, I, I will see that. I will say Amethyst was funny, but no one else was even close. I agree, but, but at least they were like, okay, so in my opinion, four of these people were very interesting. Like like Lucy, Sugar, Spice, and Amethyst were well actually even Aura. I say Jax. Aura was interesting because she is just like terrible. Aura is her cringe campaign is. I I told bitch I clocked it from day one. I no I, I didn't realize it is it is sometimes like not I can't watch the TV sometimes I'm not kidding. 
I kept rewinding because, you know, I love cringe content. Also, every time Sp- Spice, what? I think, I think Spice might have done the worst Snatch game in the past, like, okay. six seasons. Uh, we get, well, Bob, we have to we'll go in order. There. Like, I would need to talk about Lucy. I, in my opinion, this is one of the best Snatch games we have ever had. I thought Lucy was so fucking funny. She looked just like Joan. Um, she was great. I thought she was fun. I mean, she, she was she, she was like, she was doing a tight 10. It's like she was up there doing her material. In the spirit of comparison, I will say that Jimbo, Jimbo was better at Joan, but it also could be because Jimbo had better people to play off of. So it it it, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily the thing about doing someone like Joan Rivers is Joan Rivers has already written the jokes. Right. All of these That's jokes true. were literally written by Joan Rivers. The mayonnaise really? on a on a the mayonnaise on an aspirin. That's a joke that Joan Rivers said about Elizabeth Taylor. Like all of these jokes, oh. like she was all these jokes about her body. Joan Rivers said all of these jokes. Now I mean I can't say every single one of them, but like a lot of the jokes. I'm a big fan of Joan Rivers. I was like I've heard that one. I've heard that one. But at least she knew when to say them. She looked like Joan Rivers. She sounded like Joan Rivers. She was witty. It was. It wasn't like when um when Alyssa Edwards was um Mom was dear, Joan, Joan jo- yeah. She, she was just saying quotes completely out of context. Whoa, 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 heck was rude. She's an interesting queen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna I give Lucy her. a nine and a half. That was a, it. Was a good because if, if if a ten is um Jinx Monsoon as you know what? No, just within the confines of this competition. Yeah. The best one is a 10. The worst one is a 1. I'm going to give her a 10. I Only within the confines of the competition. I wouldn't say I give her a 10. I, I think Lucy did a really good job. I was very Yeah, impressed. I'm not. I'm judging her just on this one, not out of all Smash games ever. She was the best one. Her look is her look is great. I instantly. The only two people. Okay. No. If I look at. If I'm going by see who's instantly recognizable, it's Joan, Mona Lisa. <laughs> Joan, I, Mona Lisa, Saucy Santana, The Virgin Mary, and Tim Gunn are instantly recognizable. Instantly. Yeah, I would say Bretman Rock, too. But I'm also, I like follow, I think I follow Bretman Rock a lot. I, I, oh, I, I follow I, Bretman Rock. I, you, you don't think, or I, I would say that's Bretman. If, if they're like, they're, if they're like, we're playing Snatch Game, I was like, oh, that's Bretman Rock. If I saw this, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Um, yeah. Let's go on to Sasha Kobe, who I think may have been on camera for a, a blip of a second. Yeah. Um, I'm not looks like Jane with Crouch. Jane. I'm not super familiar with Jane Crouch. Um, so I, I don't, I don't, girl. I, I don't know if she did a good job or not. But she, but it wasn't particularly funny from what I did see. Um, and I will say when when Ren Rue introduced her and she was like, um, I'm praying for her, and she put the the, the cross at Lucy. Lucy says, Ah, it burns, Rue, it burns. I thought that was very funny. But also, Lucy ate that joke up. Yeah, like, like, like it was like that's what I like meant. Sasha, I Lucy Sasha, was funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give Sasha a uh, a six. Yeah, I give Sasha I give Sasha a six as well for look and because this does look like Jan Crouch. Like you look up you, of course it's like a bit dragged up because it's she's yeah. doing Gerard. Bitch, Jan like, Crouch was dragged up. Right, right. I would say, but Jan Crouch had bigger hair. Ironically, like Jan Crouch was like, was what like, an odd. These televangelist ladies were wild. They make they make us drag queens look. Subtle down, <laughs> Tammy. Her, uh, t- uh, Tammy, Tammy. Faye uh, Baker. Um, who was the one who did the weight loss? Um, hold on, weight loss televangelist. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, look her up too. Televangel. I can't spell televangelist. Her name was. Um, oh, I can't remember her name. I see your pictures of her, but it's this fucking lady. Can you see my phone? Uh, let me see. Oh, no, I don't know who that is. I never... Girl, these fucking televangelists are wild. Wild. These televangelists ladies are... They, they're they in drag Gwen Shamblin? drag. Gwen Shamblin? Yeah, maybe that's her, yeah. Gwen Shamblin Lara. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I give Sasha a, a six. I give a six as well. Let's go on to Jax. Okay, I thought this was actually a very smart match game to do, doing the, doing the Mona Lisa. I thought it was very smart. And I thought Jax... Did a good job. I don't think Jax nailed it, but I thought Jax was on the same level as Sasha. I, I he, their answers My, were go ahead. I think Jax actually. Did, I think Jax did a little better than Sasha, in my opinion. Actually, sorry, you go. Ahead. I, I cut you off. Go ahead. 
No, I I agree. I think I think Jax did a good job, and I was shocked because I did not I wasn't expecting Jax to have such a creative character and do as good as they did. So I'm gonna give Jax a six and a half, seven. The reason why I okay, my thoughts on this. So if you're picking a character with no uh, context to their behavior, um, like the Virgin Mary, like you're creating a character. The only thing is, Jax didn't create a big character. Like Jax yeah. didn't. Jax didn't do Jax. It was just it was just Jax, yeah. just Jax. It was it was just, it was just Jax up there. And I do think that when she did that smile, that was pretty that was funny. Good. That was. Other than that, there wasn't really much going on. Like you you, if you're gonna do a character with no context for their behavior, you have to create a really big persona, in my opinion. To win. Um, the, to win, yeah. And isn't that the goal? Isn't that the goal? It should. Be. Isn't the goal to win? Yeah. Um, so I think that she looked, her look is, is, is a 10 and actually I mean, it would have been a 10 if the, if the Mona Lisa skin was black, it was kind of driving me crazy. That the Mona Lisa skin was white. That was driving me crazy. Wait, the Mona Lisa skin is white. Where, oh, where have we seen her skin? On the painting, her neck, her whole decolletage is out. That's her, her hands. Neck? No, I think that's a collar or something. No, Mona Lisa is, is has her decollet, the Mona Lisa's decolletage is sewing. Oh, work. It looks like a collar um, here. Are you not familiar with the Mona Lisa? I mean, let me look it up because Jax has like a gold, like Jax, like a, I think Jax painted a gold collar on his to make it make sense. No, no, no. That is, that's the skin, Monet. Is it? Yes. You can't change the, de- the Mona oh, yeah. Lisa. It's, it's not the Mona Lisa if you, if you just change it. Instead of smiling, she's over here. Now she's wearing different clothes. The hair, that's not the Mona Lisa anymore. It's the, it's, anyway, yeah. I'm going to give her, I'm going to give her a six and a half as well. Yeah. Now, baby, let's get into okay. This bottom row, this this whole bottom row <laughs> is thrilling. I'm so excited. Sugar as Hang Trisha up, Paytas. Trisha Paytas is an interesting choice. Now, the funny thing about Trisha Paytas is that Trisha Paytas is kind of playing the same character that Sugar and Spice are playing, which is the dumb blonde character, except Trisha Paytas is. Is dabbles in a lot of problematic behavior. Yeah, she was. I am. That said, she was trans. That she was a trans man, and then she had like a whole trans journey. Allegedly. Yeah, Yeah. she's done. Yeah, she's done a lot of. And that's that's just the half of it. She's done a lot of really wild stuff. Right. Um, she doesn't look anything Anything. like Trisha Paytas. (laughs) Nothing at all, girl. She she could be any. She could be Pam Anderson. She could be any Amanda Lepore. Anyone, <laughs> anybody, any blonde, any <laughs> literally any blonde in the world. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm gagged. This was also. Did you notice that that Sugar and Spice they just straight up like say lines from other TV shows? I didn't notice. Yeah, so apparently Miley Cyrus was arguing on her show during something that kind of looked like Snatch Game, it was like some like telethon thing. And Trisha Paytas was doing lines from that. It's wild, and they all the, 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 uh, someone put a clip side by side of them just saying things from other TV shows. I was kind of gagged, actually. Yeah, well, Trisha Paytas should have said some lines that were funny. Is what that should have been the choice. I thought it was yeah. a bad snatch game. It was not funny. It was not good. Two. I give this. Oh my god, same two. I give it a two, 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 yeah. two. and not a toot, a two. But yeah. bitch, are you gagging? Um, Selena got a double toot about her about her look last week. <laughs> a double toot, baby. <laughs> anyway, um, so Amethyst, uh, okay, Tandem Mom is such a weird dated, uh, very reference. dated, so like, dated, like Inquirer lore, lore uh, circa two thousand like twelve, like. Why Tan Mom? Tan Mom was a guest. This is how old this was. Tan Mom was a guest at Bianca's show, Hot Mess, with Lady Bunny and Jada Valenciaga. She was like a guest on the show. Like, why? 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 Um. Anyway. In Connecticut. I think that- it's, it's, to be fair, she's from Connecticut. It's a current reference in Connecticut. Is she from Connecticut? Yes. That being said, she was funny. I genuinely thought she was funny. There were moments where I was like laughing out loud. Amethyst is funny, and, and, and Amethyst is now, I think this is her element, uh, more so than what we've seen in the last two challenges for sure. 
Um, I don't particular. I didn't have any laugh out loud moments like you. I didn't think it was. I thought it was a good snatch game, but I, I I can acknowledge that she had funny jokes. I just it wasn't like a belly laughing or laughing out loud. But I could acknowledge that they were funny. I did think she did a good job, and I think she looks like Tam Mom when she I when she did take her card and she was like I was I was she sounded like she was triggered by the card was too white, so she had to like tan it. I thought that was I thought that was very funny. That was funny. I also like when she did the thing where RuPaul asked her and she was like <laughs> no, um that that was good. Her voice was good. Um, I felt bad for her. Like, Amethyst can't catch a break. Like, sitting, Sugar was so invasive into her space. And it's so yeah. weird, because, like, last episode, the fans were ready to, like, uh, take Jax to the fucking gallows because she tapped Spice on the shoulder and, or Sugar on the shoulder and asked her to move. Like, everyone acted like she picked, like, Spice picked her up and threw her into the fucking dumpster. I went back and looked at the footage. Jax, like, touched her shoulder, and then Sugar got up and walked away on her own. But Sugar was all in Jax's, I mean, uh, Amethyst's was, space. Amethyst had a two times in character asked to not be touched. Oh, did Twice. She? Yes, she did. Yes. She did. She did. She did. Two times. She had to be like, don't touch me. Don't. Don't touch me. I'd be so annoyed if I had to advocate for my own personal space in character. Oh, I'd be so annoyed. Okay, so let's say you're let's say you're you're doing Carol Channing, and I'm like, and I'm doing I don't know, uh 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 uh, uh Diddy Kong. Well, who are you? I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm Bowser. Yeah, yeah, Ru. I'm sorry, Bowser. I'm gonna have you. To, I apologize. I understand that you're a king. I am the queen of uh, Broadway comedy. Please respect my space. Please. I apologize, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> King Cooper. I give Amy, Bob's old friend Amy from back in the day, I give her. Why is Amy my old friend? I don't know. Just the, don't, the, the fact that her know Amy, the fact her name is Amy now, she's just, Amy's like someone's old friend. I give her uh, an, a seven and a half. I'm going to give her an eight. Work. Can we discuss Spice? The dumpster fire <laughs> that is Spice. She said, I was born to play Miley Cyrus on Snatch Game. Which I don't even understand what that even means, to be honest. Like, obviously, I get it with word, by words, but, like, what you were born. Like, like that, like, in creation, whatever God or Buddha or the angels, you were created. And they were like, you're going to play Miley Cyrus on Snatch Game. That's it also makes it, it makes it seem like this was going to be her shining moment from the season. Mm-hmm. Like this would like if she if she won Drag Race they'd be like name the moment you knew Spice won Drag Race and like this was this was the worst test game I've seen in a it might be it might be the worst test game I've ever seen it was it was I I don't even have words for first of all Miley Cyrus's voice is so easy to imitate. Yes, she has a country accent, but the main thing about Bob Miley Cyrus's voice that she kind of talks like this, they, like, like it, it's all nasally. Everyone knows that Miley Cyrus is nasally. And then also, she was, that, she was putting that weird yuck thing, like she's like yuck, yuck. I'm like Miley Cyrus doesn't do that. And you know, Miley Cyrus watches Drag Race. She's a huge fan. I know she is watching. Miley Cyrus must be watching this. Like, yo, is this what y'all niggas think of me? Is this what y'all think I? Y'all think I look like this? This is how you think. G- g- yeah, like it had g- nothing to do with Miley Cyrus. And, b- then, uh, and, and, uh, and what is happening? And then she like, and then she had this weird thing. Like at a point, it looked like she like literally like blew a fuse, and like she was short circuiting when she took the hammer, the sledgehammer. She was like, Ugh, uh. and she didn't even answer the question. It was so very, it's very strange behavior. I didn't, I'm not understand. Why she, she was eating. That. She was eating the hammer at one point. She just started eating. Like, it just the tastes ha- so good, Rue. I was like, I was like, what? Yeah. Sorry, Rue. Just tastes so good. The hammer tastes good. Why is Miley? Because I know. Okay, Monsters licked a sledgehammer. Monsters very famously licked a sledgehammer. We all know this, but she didn't eat it. She didn't like chew it. Like, do the lick. Also, um, I feel like a big part of Sugar and Spice's comedy is this face. Yeah. That, like, that is, the, that's their, that is, like, when they're, like, we gotta, we gotta pull out the funny, they just go. Yeah. Yeah. I, almost every episode they've done this. Is the thing. And again, this Snatch Game was so bad. I did not enjoy it. I did not think it was good. Yes, you had 
the bear uh leotard thing the Miley Cyrus wars okay cute I think what she was going for at the beginning was she was Hannah Montana but I don't that's a copyright name so you can't say you're Hannah Montana but even her connection there didn't make sense in her Miley Cyrus journey I don't know it was weird this is a one and a half well actually two because the looks were nice so I'll give her a her, two. her her second look was great she looked very much like Miley Cyrus yeah so I'm gonna give her a two as well this was a but this performance was a it was bad bad this performance was very bad I'm yeah. actually gagged one of the most exciting things about a new year is that you have no idea what adventures are going to be in store for you from new travel experiences to new jobs or picking up new skills. There's no better way to prepare for 2023 than by learning a new language with Babbel. Babbel is a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, all right? Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you can feel confident no matter where the new year takes you, all right? I started taking some some Spanish lessons, which is very, very exciting. I mean, I'm not fluent yet. It's not giving fluent yet. But honey, Argentina, Barcelona, uh, Mexico City, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be talking to everybody, honey. Well, you're assuming they want to talk to you. <laughs> With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson. So you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans. But Babbel, nah-uh. Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be very effective. And with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation pronunciation and accent. Now, there are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Baby, I learned English with Babbel. Now, listen to how good I talk. Now, right now, get up to 55% <laughs> off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash rivalry. That's babbel.com slash rivalry for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Um, followed up by... The French uh, Queen. The, <laughs> this was... I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think I could intentionally be this cringy. <laughs> what are you... Can you, can, can you not chew into the microphone? Can you not crunch ice into the microphone? I just love ice, yo. Ice? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm literally triggered. What? I'm literally triggered. What? About ice? About you saying, I just love ice. This is an old conversation we've had before. Oh, well, I like ice. Anyway, Aura. Let's go into Aura Mayari, who is doing Bretman Rock. And Bretman Rock, again, I'm sure everyone watching this knows, is a very big it's uh, uh, um, uh, social media sensation, like across all platforms. He has millions and millions and millions of followers. Like their their personality is so big. They have a very a very specific brand and, and point of view. And Aura was, I will say, Aura was trying. Aura was trying to do the Brett Monroeisms and trying to do the things that she thinks are funny about Brett. But I just don't think Aura is a funny person. And the cringe factor on top of that just made this a bad snatch game. There are moments where you will look at like Aura and you can see she is dying a thousand deaths. <laughs> like Aura wants to be out of that room so bad and you can see it on her face. And even RuPaul was like, at one point RuPaul was basically like, no. RuPaul no and the no but it's supposed to be yes and RuPaul no butted the fuck out of her. What she tried to answer in um in um in um Tagalog, um yeah, and then um and then RuPaul was like, no, we actually have some Filipinos in the booth, and they say you're you're lying. Well, I disagree with you a little bit. I think she has she dying a thousand deaths, but in her mind, she's so cute and she's so like yeah, it's she thinks that's going off as cute and she likes it again. I I think she wants to stay in the room because she thinks she's so cool and cute. I think she knows she's doing a bad... There's no way Aura doesn't know she's doing a bad job. This is... It was wild. It was so wild to watch. And, like, I could see her confident as she answers it. And then RuPaul basically lets her know in uncertain terms that wasn't funny. And then she just loses all of her confidence. She's like, hey, yeah, bitch. 
And RuPaul's like, no. And she goes, oh. Well, yeah, and bitch. And someone answering something so confidently it shows to me a little lack of self awareness. It's because you are, bitch, you, you're you coming to the game. You are thinking that you are, you are the Michael Jordan of Snatch Game, that you are nailing it. And to have that confidence and being so wrong, you are a little unaware. Anyway, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Aura a two as well. Oh, I'll give, no, her, give her a three. I give yeah, her a three. I give her a three and a half. I, I give her a three and a half. Two, three. Two, three. One, two. <laughs> that was at the beginning. Lux and um Oh. Lucy. Yeah. Two one two. Two one three. <laughs> well, we definitely agree that's one, but two. <laughs> That was yeah. crazy. I was like, y'all, I don't feel like y'all are literally arguing over who lost the best. This is crazy. Okay, so now, Bob, so saying, knowing, saying that Joan, Joan Rivers and Amethyst were the only two funny ones, and the other group, we had three funny ones, you still think that this was the stronger group? I agree. Again, I'm going to reiterate, it's because they were they were swinging bigger. This is also just better TV in general. But the other group, I, I, I respect someone like Spice just swinging huge and missing more than someone who's just not doing anything. And the other group had one, two, three, one, two, three, four people who were basically not even playing the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and at least and at least we get to see you take risk. Like, what the fuck was Saucy Amanda fucking um a, a Georgina? What were they doing? What was Georgina doing? Having fun. By herself. If I was her, I would, I would start panicking and start duck walking again. <laughs> oh, wait. Someone made a duck walk. Oh, what Mitchell said, uh, something about we're flying chicken. Something she said about walking the duck. I was like, very. Oh, no, maybe it was Tim Gunn. No, it's Mistress. I was like, very funny because Rue loved, obviously loved that moment. And she giving, I thought it was very well done. I forget the joke. I wish I remembered it, but it was, it was very well done. Um, Let's talk, go on to the runway. Um, oh, no. She Ooh. said, um, "It was what is Michelle Massage doing the left side of the street?" She said she walks her dog, and then they made that into uh, walking the dog. Go right, 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 right. So as they before they go to the runway, uh, coming out. Yeah, what? It talks about coming out. I have a question. Yeah, Lucy Laduca said that she remembers exactly who in sixth grade called her a faggot, and to that I say post. Their, say their say names. their names. Like if you remember who Lucy, bitch, spill, spill, Honestly. Lucy. Let's let's let us all know. We all want to have the information you have. I want to know their name too, honey. Do you do you? When did you like come come out? Like when did you did you have? Because I never had a hey everybody, I'm gay. I just kind of like told a few friends and then they told friends and they told friends. I wasn't like a. You would sing it. You would you would write a song and sing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a singer, Bob. Um, that's what you thank got you me. for thank you for clarifying what I was what I was getting at. Um, I told my mom in high school that right after I graduated, like, like the day I graduated high school, like after my graduation, I told my mom, and I told everyone else like uh, my first year of college. Like, were you was it like a, you went to each person or you were like, hey guys, I'm gay. Uh, I bought a belt from Rainbow and from um, Spencer is a rainbow belt from Spencer's. And I wore it around. Oh I wore it around. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is so that time. Oh, my god. oh, oh my yeah, very god, that, that time. That is so that time. <laughs> it was a studded <laughs> rainbow belt from <laughs> Spencer's. What, Jacob? Uh, I was gonna ask if it was studded, but you said it. Yeah, it was a studded oh rainbow belt from god. Spencer's, and I wore it basically every day to let people know that I was gay. <laughs> what I, so it, was my, I, it was actually my second year of college. So what? what the other part thing is like I went away to Minneapolis to work for a while. And when I was in Minneapolis, I told them all that I was gay. That was my second year, right? It was my second year. I told them all that I was gay, but I didn't know any of them. They were all people I met for the first time. It was my first time being out with people that I had never, I had no context for. And that was my trial run. Then I came home and I bought the belt. Work. Um, I just started sucking dick at Glory Holes, and I let everyone fill in the pieces from there. What, what, what were you live streaming it? It's what was it on Periscope? It was a Periscope. <laughs> Um, uh, did you do you remember? I mean, I, I'm sure you've been called a faggot before. Is there one that like sticks out to you? Is there one you on this like, podcast with you? Oh yeah, I've called you a faggot before for sure. Um, I don't. I mean, I, I, one time that I, I I remember I get called a faggot so many times though. I just I don't remember the first one, but I remember one time the first time in New York City I got called a faggot was uh, me as Rhea, 
Leopolitan and Delilah Brooks were all crossing the street. Um, and to give you a visual of this, this is uh, a, a, at the time, how we were presenting. This is how we present the time. Kind of like a genderqueer, um, hairy, six foot mohawky type. And then like um, uh, about and like, a, and like, but, but like, but like a witch in like black eyeliner, black nails, yeah. black dress. Delilah Brooks, who 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 has, has transitioned since, but at the time was presenting as a like a like a bald headed like like uh like Guido from fucking Brooklyn, the Bronx, the Bronx, the Bronx, yeah, the Bronx, from the Bronx. Bridge. And then Leah Politan, who has also transitioned, but at the time was presenting as like a, I think uh, like a like a like a South Asian, um, like very feminine, but like kind of thick. And then me, who was like. Uh, at the time, probably like six two. I probably had locks. Like I probably had like locks and stuff in my head. Oh my God, your little so we lock were, thing that was so cute, Bob. So we were we were like we were not tiny. We looked it. So this guy called us faggots. We were at Penn Station because he was leaving a Hawks game or not a Hawks game. God, I'm Atlanta. A uh, Knicks game, and then he called us faggots. And then Delilah Brooks turned around and was like, "Excuse me, like I can't do her voice. We had she has like a really high pitched voice, but it sounds, but it's it's a very thick New York accent, like a very, very thick like it it's it, it's so thick it sounds put on yeah like it's like oh my god it's like it's yeah. one of those i love her voice and she's like excuse me who are you talking to <laughs> and then <laughs> and then as raya and we and, and the way that guy booked it down and ran from us because as raya if there's one thing two things as raya has nerve and a mouth Okay, yeah. As rare will confront you, good for and destroy you with her words. Um, Bob, I want to do something. You and I. What was what, your first faggot? Oh, do you want to call someone a faggot for the first time? Do you want to be <laughs> someone's first? Let's be that. Let's go do that. <laughs> what do you think? Do you? Th I want you and I to get Wait, courts. You should. You should call. You should call our listeners. One of our listeners that there has never been called a faggot before. Oh, if you never. Okay, so listen, Carl. I know there's a little Carl there, and you know what you are? A widow faggot. <laughs> now you're going to say I was your first one. I would. <laughs> Carl's going to be on Drag Race season 48, and I, and I remember who it was. I still Stop remember who it was. <laughs> I want you and I to buy courtside Lakers tickets. I'm already out, I'm, I'm, and I'm out. And for that reason, I'm out. What? Can I finish? Yeah, go ahead. Courtside, go ahead. I want us to be dressed in our faggiest apparel and be sitting, bitch, courtside. And I want us to be in the front row, legs crossed, with our with our drinks and our popcorn, just watching the game and just kiki kaka. I'll be so bored. I hate basketball. I mean, how much? And how much is a courtside ticket? I don't know. Maybe like fifteen hundred bucks. I think you have to be invited to sit courtside. There's a way to for us to get it. I'm sure. You know what? If, you, if we can get if we can get matching outfits, we should do it. Yes. Okay, we'll do it. Um, let's go to the runway, shall we? Oh yeah. Who are the Lakers' rivals? Uh, I think it changes every year. We'll go in their jerseys. <laughs> oh my God! Get jerseys. <laughs> Front row, even if they're not playing. <laughs> but oh no! But we'll make them into jersey dresses. Yeah, obviously. Work. Okay. Um, the runaway RuPaul looks. RuPaul has her toes out. It's the first thing I noticed. I said, "Okay, Ru, with her toes out." Yeah, I noticed it too, and I remember. I remember thinking, "God, this shoe is fucking." <laughs> Yo, this is Bob's hideous. favorite. Bob's favorite kind of. Sh what, what is wrong with the shoe? It just looks. It's a little biscuit basket. Like it. Like it doesn't look. I remember thinking to myself, "Oh, I hate this shoe." And I remember thinking, "Monet's probably gonna love this shoe." You know what it is? And I, I've, I've mentioned this before, like a thousand times. When you're when you wear a sandal, you're not seeing much shoe. All you're seeing is just one strap in front of your toes. So it's not giving me a lot of shoe. I'm not getting, especially when you have a big foot and it covers the entire side. So your big feet are covering up all the architecture of the shoe. All we can see is just a strap over your foot. Because, That's literally all we see. Because, Bob, some outfits do not need a pump. That outfit, if RuPaul had a black pump on, this outfit would be hideous. You need a sandal with this. It would also not be cute. What? A pump with this with this dress would not be cute. Absolutely not. I'm not arguing with you. I said what I said. I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's a nice shoe. It's a fucking sandal, and I don't think it looks nice. You're I love right. this dress, though. 
I think RuPaul is great. This is my favorite RuPaul hair. I want a wig like this. I want like a a, a, a synthetic. I used to wear these back in the day a lot, and I and RuPaul is making me want them again. Also, I'm on I'm on the main. Do you see me on the main stage? I'm right above the left titty. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I am. I'm, I'm on the special guest. I'm on I'm on her left titty. <laughs> you had yours was like a you had a dress like this, but a, a mini. No, Monet, the guest. She has drag whiskers on her shirt. I'm literally on her left titty. Oh, is, are you? Tell me you didn't watch Untucked without telling me you didn't watch Untucked. I Monet, know. you're only getting half the story. Oh, my God. I did watch Untucked, actually. She said, look, I have Evie. I have Bob. I have uh, Simone. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, may have, I, do, I, I kind of I doze off a little bit towards the end, so I probably missed it. But I did watch Untucked. Um, when they say y'all show born, I said, when they said your Emmy award winning show is born. When I said Emmy, my Emmy, yes, it has work. Michelle looks great as usual, and Carson, yeah. I, Carson always looks great too. I love Carson. This is a very cute suit moment. I love Carson that, so much. That felt like a dig at Ross. All right, um, let's go. Oh my God, you're. Probably I said it felt like it doesn't mean it was, but it fe- it felt like. Can I just say my feelings about oh. you getting wild? Up first is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Girl, and- this this look this look. Was the catalyst for um, mistress getting bullied off of inst getting bullied off kicked off Instagram? I know, I know. She ended up getting kicked off, and you up to right now. You you can say anything you want about fat people, trans women, black people. If you say anything, girl, about a twink on Drag Race, a girl. white twink on Drag Race, girl. the fans will try to kill you. Yeah. They will try to end your existence. Well, we're not mincing words. This outfit was fucking hideous, and it was so simple. The black belt looked stupid. I mean, what was she? She was like, a, she was like a, she was like a dentist. A what dentist, a, yeah. Like, and like the bag of of teeth. Oh, sure, I get it. But this is not a good. This is not a runway look for Drag Race. I'm sorry, it is not. Uh, you know, I don't think I feel as strongly as you do. I think it could have been something. She should have made this into a dress and not... If she would have made this, the bottom part of this, into like a nice dress, if she also would have fucked up her teeth. Like, let's give us some blacked out teeth. Let's get some blood. Let's get some rotted teeth. Um, uh, I think it could have been really cool. I think. Could have, but it wasn't. And like... And like, like the black belt alone just looks so like she just she like she's on she's on the way out of the workroom. She was like, oh my god, I need a belt. Um, and she just like threw this black belt on. It's just I I, I didn't I thought this was a bad look. This was a bad look. I will also say this. Also, the belt is too big. The belt is way too big. Like, and if, this- if your belt is big, bitch, get some double sided tape and stick it so it so we can't tell. Like, was, was she like mistress? Lend me a belt, bitch. Whose belt is this? Like, whose <laughs> belt is this? Um. But I, I, I think something I learned uh, is when you have a white garment, you try to distress it by like painting it and making it look dirty. If it is white, you have to basically like paint the whole thing because it will just it, it can't not look clean, especially under stage lights. So in her mind, this this thing was probably distressed down. But when it's on stage, it just looks like it just looks like she's wearing something that's white. You know? Yeah. I let's move on to. Lux London, Lux Noir London. See, see, that's it rolls you, better. That's because you put you that say in my Lux head. London Noir. You put that in my head. Um, um she, did you see how she posted online like how she made this? It was like she Lux is so interesting. What I'm I didn't so, see. I'm just so she basically like this to to, to get this like wet look. Uh-huh. She took the dress and she like. Soaked it in like a cup, like a mixture like Elmer's glue and like water and hodgepodge, basically, to make it look like wet or whatever. So Mod I saw on Twitter, Podge. Mod Podge, um, but it but it kind of just looks like a like a stretch dress. Like I don't I don't see all this. Deep. They kind of yeah. just she was like, and I let it dry for four days over this like wax. This like I was like, it kind of just looks like a yeah. I, it kind of it kind of just looks like a stretch dress. Yeah, the only thing that looks wet and whatever is her hair, but I don't see the. It, uh, yeah, it just it. I don't. Yeah, um, but that but all and she's supposed to be dead or whatever it is, but her legs don't match the rest of her body. Like the rest of her body is gray, and her legs are just her skin color. So she was also saying on online, she was like, "Well, it was the lighting. The lighting made it look that way." Because if you look in other clips, you'll see that it matches perfectly. Lux is like she really goes on Twitter, and she like she she will not let it go. She. She is going to like fight and argue and be like, I'm telling you, it's stunning. You have to believe me. It is stunning. 
I promise you, it's stunning. No, because I on watching the camera, I did not, and, and there's no shot of the camera. I was like, oh, there her legs go. Everyone, I was like, why are her legs brown and her body's gray? In my experience, when you wear, when you do something like this, like a look like this, you end up buying one pair of gray tights, but all of the tights underneath are probably her skin tone. Yeah. So that's kind of uh, gl- glaring through. Yeah. Um, you'll notice a lot of girls on Drag Race have tight issues where their tights look like they're just a weird color or something. Yeah. Um, but anyway, overall, I don't hate this look, but I, I, I do think that she thinks it's a little more sickening than it is, to be honest. I'm not And her lie. story was she was someone who was, they killed her by putting a cinder block on her leg and dropping her in an ocean. That's what she was supposed to be? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Got it. And I think the bit is you're supposed to get like a, a pair of concrete shoes. What they, what they normally, I mean, they do this too, but I think the, 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 the bit is they, they put you in concrete and your feet so you can't k- even kick it all. Yeah. Anyway. Um, that would if she if she'd have hopped down in, inside of a concrete block, that could have been really fucking fierce. Let's go on to Malaysia Baby Doll Fox, who for the third runway in a row is wearing a white-ish iridescent colored gown, and uh, she the horns are back. Horns! Oh my god! The like like every time the ears are horns, like every time, like every talk is the category is beautiful nightmare. I, this just honestly kind of looks like she just had a dress made and then was like, I, and I'll just do creepy makeup. Like, yeah. what's, like, what like, is why going on? Like, feathers? Like, is she a vampire? Girl, no. She, I, I think, I, yeah, I don't, like, the fact that you came to Drag Race and you put three, you were packing up for Drag Race and for three of your one ways, you had something in this color and they're the same silhouette. And hair similar. Like, come on! Girl. I can't remember. I can't remember her first hair though. I don't remember. But she wore the the the, the ears when she walked in the workroom. Yeah. The- and then she wore them on the last runway, and then she's wearing them again this runway. These okay, two Okay, bitch. Are you hair. saying ears? You keep on saying ears. You mean? Are you saying hairs? Ears. Like like the first time they were fox ears, and this time they're horns. And I think last. I think it's because she's a fox. So I think the first time they were ears okay. because they were. I couldn't say you were saying hairs. No, but that's you. You say hairs. I say hair. Like a like everyone else in the world. I don't know. We, I, I'm gonna keep on listening a little more astutely to what you're saying. Um, but I I just don't get how she's a beautiful nightmare. Like I don't I don't get what's going on. Is she a, is she a zombie? What is happening? I don't. And the feathers just tick me out. I don't get it. Um, let's move let's move on, on to um to Mister. There's a lot of spiders on the runway. I I think this looks cheap. Yeah, the little the cage webbing thing is very cheapy cheapy. I agree. I don't. I don't like cages. I, I. I don't think I've ever seen a runway, a cage in the runway, and been like, "Ooh, I love that." I don't think I've ever liked it. I think it looks bad every time because it just looks like it's made out of really cheap material. Like every time I see a cage in the runway, I'm like, "This looks like it's made out of cheap material." I love her hair. I don't know. She had- no, I think if I had like if there was a wire cage, maybe, but like it's this kind of cage. I, I don't like I don't like this look. I, all I like is her makeup and her hair. That's it. What about Monet's cage and her veiled runway? Look? I did not think I did not think it looked particularly nice. No, my cage was stunning, bitch. And RuPaul said, "Oh my god, oh my god." Wait, wait, no, no, sorry. He said, "Oh my." Wait, no, I, I'm gonna find a clip. Incredible. I don't Incredible. think I don't think it was the cage though. I think the look was great. I don't think it was the cage. It was the whole look. Her. Well, you know what? You don't need my approval. You have RuPaul. I so. sure don't. Um, but I just, but also that material, I just don't like, it doesn't look, it looks cheap to me. Anyway. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why she had, I, I guess all the white pieces are supposed to be webs and the webs are like a collar on her. Yeah. I agree. This look was not her strongest. And Isabel so far, Isabel, mistress oh, so far has given us some really great looks. This is not her name is mistress Isabel. True. But I think she goes by mistress. Mish, Mr. Bell. Mr. 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 Bell Brooks. Um, let's go on to another spider. She was doing a Black Widow moment, Anitra. I did not like this look. I don't hate it. It was a little short. Yeah, the gown was too short. And I guess she's like supposed to be like a deconstructed, like a, you know, just, it's supposed to be Black Widow in like a fashion kind of way. But it's just like the, the silver chains to be webs didn't look great. And she had... Yeah, I, I, Anitra's I, fading into the background, which I, I really hate because she was so good in that first episode but it, honestly it was her talent her her like personality has never really been in the forefront mm-hmm. and uh she's fading it's giving fading yeah i was waving let's go on to 
Selena. Um, Selena STDs. Is it STDs, like sexually transmitted diseases? She's yeah. I've, I heard it's supposed to be titties and and also STDs. Yes. Um. You know, we've seen a version of this in the runway, and it we was did? done. Yeah. Hmm. Lawrence Cheney did it. Can you bring it up, Jacob? Lawrence Cheney did it. And oh, yes. baby, when I t- when I tell you it was fucking mm-hmm. impeccable. Yes. And it's and it's and and the thing is, by this point, you you gotta know what's gonna be up there, what's gonna be what's gonna be, you know, what's been on the show before, and you're gonna be compared to people in the past. And Lawrence Cheney just did a oh shit, it's such a good version of this fucking look. So this, this look is fine. This look is perfectly fine to me. I don't understand why so much of her torso is showing though. There's so much torso showing. Lawrence Cheney, uh leather, leather look. look. Yeah. Or skin face look or something. Skin face look. Did you find it? Leather didn't come out. Let me try skin face. Le- leather face. Oh, I didn't put Cheney. I, I, I got it. Yeah, Lawrence fucking ate this look up. It was so good. I'm looking I see at it. it I, see, I see it, Jacob. I see it. The um, way Lawrence ate her season, the way Lawrence ate her fucking season, she was amazing. What was the what was the category for this when Lawrence did it? Uh, I don't I don't remember. I do not remember. Maybe maybe uh, Ookie it was Kookie. Two in one monster looks. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Ookie Kooky and Spooky. She looks great. She looks really good. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Selena looks fine. There's too much uh, skin showing that it really kills the nude illusion. The point of it, the the thing about a nude illusion is you can't show too much skin because the illusion starts to really fade away. Yeah, like and this also, bitch looks. She looks nothing like a noodle. And also, she should have. She stopped it. She stopped the the like her skin underneath that like at the arm. She should have did her whole arm so it all looked the same skin color. Yeah, or did it, or it in a power mesh so it looked anyway? But um, let's yeah. let's move on to Robin Fierce. Robin. Think about Robin Fierce is she's okay. Oh, we have another spider. Think about Robin is she's always pretty. She's so pretty. She's a very pretty lady, and I love what she do with her makeup. When she did her brows like this and that red stuff, I love, love, love the makeup. Um, the are uh, the spider arms. It's not really. It's it's, it's like it's it's like a. It's a spider garment in a Dior silhouette, which we the Dior silhouette is classic, it's timeless, and it, it, she looks very classy. And I got you know what? I like it. I like this. Me look. too. Yeah, it's a, a soft too. Yeah, I like this look. I like it. Let's go on to um, Le, Lucy Laduca as Jason Lucy. Voorhees. I, yeah, this looks cool. It looks good. I think, I it's think great. that I think there's something to be wanting on the 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 actual dress itself. Like what? What would you change about it? I don't know. Maybe I mean maybe if there was some more ingenuity in the design of it. Maybe if it was like a, maybe if it was like, and more interesting. Maybe if it was just a more interesting silhouette. It just kind of just looks like a a, a gown. Like I don't think the silhouette. It. It's not bad. I mean she looks good, um, and her snatch game was so good that she didn't need to look that great to be honest. But she does look good though. Yeah, I I thought this was a really good look. I love it because we all know Jason wears that like that like one piece, uh, 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 like workers work working man blue collar suit thing. But um, I love I love that she made this into a gown. But also she still had pants under it, or like dickies, spat. like a dicky dickies. Yeah, but she has like the spats under it, or the um, what you call it? That's what's the other word that I that thing I wore on like lip sync against Mayhem Miller, um, chaps, chaps. I think they're chaps or spats, whatever they are. I love that she had. I think, I think they're just boots. I think they're just boots, actually. Oh, well, yeah. I think this is a really good look. I love how she like broke the broke the the mask, and she had half of it in her eye, almost like a Phantom of the Opera moment. I think this is a really good look. I really enjoyed this. I would wear this for Halloween or something for like a Halloween ball or something. Let's go on to Sasha Colby, who is a tree, a spider, a spider tree. A witch, a she's swamp a witch. Spider. <laughs> I don't know what she is, but she uh, she looks amazing. I like I the gown. Really I don't love like her makeup. Look. I do. I don't know. I, and wish I think th- that Sasha Kobe might actually be doing at this point in the competition the most diverse makeup in the entire competition out of everyone. Is she? Yeah, I think she's switching it up the most actually. 
I don't know. I haven't been paying attention that much. But yeah, I, I wish that the gloves were maybe. I wish because what's taking me oh, out? Oh, the gloves were like, my favorite part. The gloves were my favorite part. I like the fingers, but I we know how like these look like just satin gloves that we buy that you can buy at, at B and Q trimming or any store in New York and just put things on it. If she if there was a way that she could incorporate those vines to like come out of the gloves, make it like feel like it was one thing as opposed to just like satin glove things on them. I think that's what's taking me out of it. And I the makeup is not my favorite, but I think the gown and her obviously her fucking body looks incredible. Like this is these are the the premonitions I have that of what I think I look like. Right? She looks divine but the there was a, a great there was a great moment during untuck where she looks at like spice or sugar and she goes pinky promise me and they they're they're pinky promising with the long <laughs> the shit really terrible. um let's go on to jacks i was impressed by jacks i thought this was a good look i really like this look i wish this, yeah. the snake the snake uh, prosthetic had more detail because you need it there are no contours or highlights in it so it just looks like a thing on her face well, this thing there are there are dimensions in it, but it seems like she didn't go in and amp them up. You really got to get into the shadows, yeah. At the especially after you've covered the whole thing in foundation, then you have to go in and really get into each and every crevice, yeah. Because this is TV, Mama. You know what I mean? And um, I think being a snake is kind of hard. We've seen a snake. Oh no, it was on the runway. Uh, uh, Alexis Michelle was a snake for something in New York City. I can't remember what it was, but snakes are kind of hard it was, because it was Look Queen. Look Queen. Look Queen yeah. Animal. The night. Thing the thing about snakes is that snakes are just like ink. The whole thing is like they're just tiny. They're so skinny. Yeah. So even the slightest curve is going to make you look a little unsnaky. So I kind of wish that her maybe her hands were snakes or if like her, maybe if somehow she could create an illusion where like her head is the snake and then the snake is like wrapping around. But her body, I don't know. I don't, I don't maybe, maybe I'm out of mind, but she does. But long story short, she does look good. And, and I like this look. And I, I agree with your critique. She should have gone into the dimensions on the scales a little bit more yeah a bit more and also as someone who made the mistake of going on tv and giving nude illusion with no belly button like my eye goes immediately to her butt to her middle i'm like where's where's the belly button no this i don't think this is a, supposed to be a nude illusion i think she's supposed to be like a snake lady with a with like snake tattoos and like a and like a, a toga sarong on her am i wrong uh, oh i didn't see it as a nude uh, because it's it's like leather Oh, because she's a snake. So, so the nude illusion isn't that she's like human skin; it's leather because snake skin is like, like a le like snake skin. So she, but there's no scales on it, which is confusing. Right. And I feel like there's a lot of fabric out there that has like scales on it, and like, like rep, like reptilian skin. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we know what we'll go to her Instagram post when she posts a look, and we can find out what exactly is going on. But I thought she was supposed to be like naked. To me. This is the very last time we'll ever be uh, looking at sugar and spice as a team. Assaulted by these ugly looks together. Yes, you're right. You think they're ugly? I hated these looks. I hated it. I hated I it. I think they're perfectly fine. I disagree, and I have been really enjoying the Spice Twins. I mean, uh, the Pop Up Girls, or the Spice Girls, whatever they are. I've been really enjoying them, but I think this these looks are tired. These, this, especially that black and white one. I have literally seen someone get that from a Halloween. Uh, what do you call a Halloween adventure for Halloween? Like nothing I mean, I about they, that is exciting. I'm pretty sure these are custom made. I'm I don't, sure honestly, they are. I don't. I don't hate them as much as you do. What I really don't like is the way these two walk the runway. Is so weird. Like it. It feels particularly unglamorous. The way these two, like especially Spice was doing like this, like I was like, "What is happening? What is going on?" And also, this is, may sound really tiny, but something that irritates me when people do this: when you walk and do a step with a hand claw thing. Are you looking at me, Monet? Mm -hmm. Look, when you do the same hand and the same foot, it looks like this. <laughs> but when you alternate the hand and foot, it looks like this. That's the one you want to do. And but the key thing, Bob, honestly, I'm not even trying to be a funny, the funny thing. It's people with rhythm. People who don't have rhythm, they don't feel how off that looks and feels. And you're like, yeah, alternate the hand and the foot. That's that's the one. I promise you, that's the one you want to do. But also, like, can you just I, maybe I'm too bland in this run, but like, can you just walk the runway? Can you just can you just not go like? <laughs> like just walk the runway please 
Yeah, I think I, I I'm not a fan of these looks. I think if anyone, if 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 Malaysia came out in this outfit, if Mistress Isabel Brooks came out in this outfit, if fucking Anitra came out in this outfit, I would we would all be like, bitch, really that? And I just I just I don't think these are exciting at all. And I think for the Halloween whatever it is, uh, what is it? A, a scary scary time, whatever the category was, it was a chance to be really spooky. beautiful nightmare, beautiful nightmare. They're, and and again, they're always beautiful. Like give us the give us like give us the nightmare part. Like sell that part of the look more. And I think spice sugar doing the sh- the sugar. The, you can do this kind of like scary doll and be more nightmarish. It's too pretty and nice all the time. And they're just a basic look. Me and Jacob almost broke up over Amethyst's look because I really like this. I love this. Well, Jacob was like, "What? Why is it a beautiful nightmare?" Maybe because this was the middle America. Maybe because Lady Gaga was Middle America's nightmare in 2010 when oh she was at the VMAs and it. she started bleeding. She was Middle America's Stop nightmare, it. honey. Um, she also she looks like fucking Lady Gaga a little bit. She does. I really, I, I wish. I just like this look. I thought it was really great. We all know this was Lady Gaga's paparazzi, paparazzi performance when she did this. And because it was all at the VMA, she was swinging from the thing, bleeding. I wish she had the blood. She should have had a, a blood pack in her wig and popped that shit and blood coming down her face. That would have been even, that would have been fierce. Monet. What? Our cringe queen is back. <laughs> You know, and like, like, w- just walk, walk you the runway. You did not need to do this whole production. Just walk, walk down the runway. When you turn around, when we saw it. It would be like, oh, whoa. You know, even- Give us a little but like, she is, <laughs> it's too much. It's too. You sound, you sound like Lorianne Gibson. Too much, Tequita. I said this, much. not this. She's oh my god, she is Sequita and Lorianne Gibson. Like Lorianne said, this this she this aura, like the, the, I was like I was like what is happening? What's yeah. happening? No, and this is a great look. This is such a cool look. Oh, the look is phenomenal. I actually this is one this is one of my favorite looks of the this night. Is actually, my, this is my favorite look of the night. But man, she gotta stop this. It this is cr- wild. Such a great look. And the hair was great. Her makeup looked stunning. And the dress is such a, such a, such a powerful, like, dope-ass look with the cringiest reveal of this thing. Like, what are you doing? What's your favorite look of the night? This. Aura Mayara's look, hands down. I want this gown. I would wear this gown. This is, this is so sickening. This is so cool. But I feel like you were just critiquing the twins for not being, like, ugly enough. And... And this is extremely beautiful. And your critique for the twins, like it's not ugly enough. Give us more of the of the ugly. Well, but I think that the how the way that like this bitch having, uh, like like someone slashed the entire back of her body open and her that that her vertebrae okay. is showing and she's bleeding down the back of it. That's it is grotesque. It's, I, I, I agree. Think it's it's really stunning. Um, I'm gonna give it to Sasha Colby. I really like Sasha Colby's look. I. It's so good. I, I think I would if I, the one I would wear most likely is Aura Mayori's, but I just like the way Sasha Kobe looked when she came out on the runway. Um, Sasha Kobe is doing, in my opinion, the perfect amount of like working the runway and selling the garment, where it's, where it's, where she's not like doing something like what Sugar and Spice or Aura are doing. She's giving you a little bit of the nuttiness, but also just runwaying. You know, you know who's also a really good runway walker and can like really sell a garment. Thank you, Raja O'Hara. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. oh. Roger O'Hara can sell a garment. She's really good at walking the runway. What, what about me? You're really good at walking the runway too, Bob. Ooh. Wow, so easy. Anyway. That um, was easy. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I was going to say, oh, I just I just have, yeah. So you did, wa- did you watch? Um, I did watch Untucked, and um, I, I was gagged at a couple things. Obviously, the mistress drum with Marsha. Um, and Malaysia was really sad about being safe. I was like, girl, you better relish in that safeness, Be- honey. I was, n- I've never been one Ex- except in All Star 7, where I went like not seven challenges, not winning when I thought I was doing a really good fucking job. I was annoyed, but you're only four episodes in, and there's still like there's 17 girls here. Like, you're, it's, you're imagine cool. being Amy, who's been in the bottom twice already, and hearing some <laughs> bitch complain about being safe. I'd be like, bitch, yeah. 
I, I, again, we're getting more about Lux's delusion. Her being like, I was high safe. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck do you mean you were high safe? What is... <laughs> delusion. <laughs> is it a bit? I don't think it's a bit. I think the Lux is one of these girls who she thinks that the fucking sun rises with her asshole in the morning and sets when she takes a shit at night. I think that that what Lux think, really thinks about herself. Which, honestly, there is something fierce about that. When people are like, bitch, I'm the best. Bitch, I'm the baddest. I can write the best verse. I can sing the best songs. I'm like, that That can take you through life a bit. I really honestly she's, think so. She's kind of Valentina this season. She's the Valentina of the season. Valentina. Oh, my God. Yes. The Valentina delusion. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not, I'm not mad at it. It is, but it is funny. Like, it is funny to watch her, like, be in the, be safe and her be like, well, but I was at the very top of the safe. Like, of all the safe ones, I was the least safe, but the closest to winning, for sure. Which was that, not true. But that, that doesn't matter to her. She, she, you can't tell her otherwise. If there was a high safe, I would gl- give it to Mistress. Who was the other? Oh, uh, um, no. There's so many fucking contestants. Jesus Christ. I mean, I think Amethyst was a high save. I think that Mistress was also a high save. Um, and I actually know, think that Marsha was a high save, too, even though her outfit was kind of hideous. Do you, I do you know Marcia do you know was who, also a high save. Do you know who we didn't say? Who? Lux. We did not say. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. Cause I don't think her runway look was particularly great. Neither, neither was her snatch game. Her snatch game definitely wasn't. But she, if anything, because of that snatch game, bitch, you were bottom safe. Um, so this is when Mistress goes over and tells Marsha that she thinks that her outfit is, looks cheap. I didn't see that part. I fell asleep at that part of I'm sorry. Mistress looks at Marsha and goes, your outfit looks cheap, which is a trigger word on Drag Race. Tell the girl she looks cheap on Drag Race. If she's not like a proud cheap queen, if you tell Evie she looks cheap, Evie will be like, thank you. I don't think Marsha <laughs> is prides herself on being a cheap queen. I don't think this is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a uh, pillar of Margaret's, uh, Drag and how cheap it looks. Not Margaret, sorry, Marsha's drag, how cheap it is. Mom, I just did You are becoming your mother and RuPaul. Uh I don't think I don't think uh Mary thinks that she <laughs> uh and, and then Mistress got her account reported so many times that she her, had her account disabled on Instagram. That's I don't know crazy. if it's back yet, but yeah. In a while. That's crazy. Now the Twinks are the Twinks. <laughs> The twins, <laughs> the twins say, "Listen, if we don't get a double, Shante, we're both we're both home. leaving." I saw that. And the other girl talking, I was like, "Let these bitches go, let them go, let it go." I let it go. tried so hard to convince. Them. I'm like, "Y'all are right." Like, I'm like, "Why would y'all want someone to stay?" Tell them, yeah, that's a good idea. I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't. I would. I would. I would just be like. Mm. I get it, and and set my fucking house of love mocktail, like it, like they are they. I would have, but also the the twins were, they were. I don't know what they're hinting at, but apparently their home lives were an absolute disaster. Yeah, they and they don't have, have connections to anyone in their family. I know. Um, which I did not know that they were going through this because I saw the videos of them like putting their brother in drag and stuff. I, I thought they were just all. All like a a big happy family. You never know what folks are going through at home. If the twin if the twins had said that, I would have went like when like everyone like separates and talk. I would have been like, "Girl, you're right." I'm like, "You guys like have been y'all started drag together. Y'all have been doing this together. Like y'all like together." And if one of y'all, if if it's not a double chante, I think that we will all love and respect y'all. And I think it would be the best look for you guys if y'all to leave together. Like for sure, for real, real rip. It it seems like the twins are trying to like. Like tell the producers like you can't send us home because we have more story to tell. I'm like, well, bitch, you better start telling it now because you might. I think you're leaving. You yeah. if you have you like they're like they're like one of them was like like well we we haven't even talked about this we haven't even shown these ideas I'm like well you better start showing all of it in this moment because the weather like we also have like salt pepper pep, salt and pepper and I was like but they also just seem like the same character you just change your names and your accent but but like the the character is like still kind of giving the same. Thing, yeah, give us. You know, give- drive me crazy. Someone, someone said the other day, it drove me crazy. I know it's such a little thing. One of the things it was like this outfit of this. It was all black and white, and someone was like, "Oh, I love that monochromatic black and white." And I was like, that, and I'm like, I don't want to sound like a whatever. But that's that's not that's literally not what monochromatic is. It has yeah. to be it has to be one. One, yeah. Anyway, mono. You ever had mono? No. Have you? Me either. 
Never know once. A lot of people in college used to get it though, but I was the kissing the kiss the kissing sickness. The kissing disease, yeah. Now now COVID is a kissing sickness, girl. So the twins, um, so um Lucy Laduca wins the challenge, and rightfully so. I think her runway was great, and I love her Joan Rivers. I think this is well deserved. Do you agree? I agree. Yeah. I can't think of anyone else who, who deserved to win over her. Literally can't think of anyone. Yeah. And the bottom queens are um Spice. Was it Spice, Aura, and Sugar? Were those the three? And Aura was safe. Yeah. Aura's yeah. look saved her. But. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Aura's look saved her. But what? I'm going to say, w- w- would you have put one of the twins over Aura? I don't think so. The twins are both. Okay. Can I say, bad. As a producer thing, I would say this. First of all, I think the twins were both the worst. I think that Aura's look is better. And also, if you put Aura against any one of these twins, this twin's going home, and we will never get our twin on twin lip sync. Yeah. I think the producers are like, this is the only time we can do this. We gotta do it. We gotta do it now. We're never gonna get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Also, someone online was like, I love that they choreographed the number together because they knew the producers were gonna put them together. Very smart. And I was like, I honestly don't think you have to be smart to know they're gonna lip sync against each other. Like, I don't think you even need to have two brain cells to rub together to know that these two are gonna lip sync against each other at some point. I didn't and, know it was gonna be this early. I don't and, think the producers did either. And that being said, yeah, so you choreographed this this run this this lip sync together, and that's what you came up with. Yeah, this it was not this was a very there at the end. Do you notice that um that uh Tim not Tim Gunn uh Marsha Car- Carson Kressley is just like <laughs> because go I to mean, my Instagram story. You can see right now my Instagram. I posted on my Instagram story. After doing? the lip sync, Tim Gunn just goes. He's just like, not you Tim mean Gunn, no? Christ. That's Carson Kressley. Carson Kressley is just like, what the fuck are these two doing? Like, what is that? Because girl, Sugar was all over the place. <laughs> Carson, isn't it great? Yeah, it it was. I mean, I, yeah, the fact that you had like you planned this, just like you had time to first snatch game to plan bits that you've been doing all season long to make your snatch game full foolproof. You plan this lip sync, and that's the best you came up with. Bitch, one of y'all go home. Bye. And I, I just love right watching one. Carson. Carson. Carson goes. <laughs> <laughs> like he's a hostage here. Um, well, but it's th- un- it was it was very uncomfortable. First of all, Sugar just is has fallen Falling. two or three times. Alicia Keys. I, 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 I was just about to say, I keep on falling. Either. Also, I mean, no, this, this is the Pat Benatar song. Let's let's get let's Love get uh, is a battlefield. Let's get hit me with your best shot. Like this is the one we're doing. I think hit me with your best shot has been on the show already. Do it again. We've had repeats. Bring them have back. We? Yes, we have. Oh yes, yeah, supernova. We've had more. We've had more than one repeat. We have quite a few. Um, yeah, this was not this 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 was not a good lip sync, and this was not a good week for the twins. Uh, I will say I, I'm happy that Spice is here. I, I I've expressed that I Spice seems a little. Just a little more seasoned, and I just God gravitate damn. more to Spice's drag. What? God damn, Sugar's already down on that. You, you know, and now you're about to get your fucking Instagram account banned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, honey. The sweet, the sweeteners are about to come for you, honey. <laughs> the sweeteners. <laughs> That's what Sugar's fans are called. The sweeteners are about to fucking ru- are about to and mass spices, report. Spices, uh, spices fans are called the fucking chili peppers. Let's everyone go and spam Monet's uh, page with uh, kisses like Sugar. Just spam Monet's wall with sugar. There's literally her- a sugar emoji. There is a there's like a candy there? emoji. Yes. Yo, you know, I'm, you I'm wouldn't a- know because you have a motherfucking Android. You know Samsung's have emojis. Do you know that? But not the same does as that- us, honey. And y'all can never you? have our emojis. Okay, first of all, also just so you know, when I text you, you get the emoji that your phone has, and then I get the emoji that my phone has. So we both have a sugar emoji, but you don't send your version. It comes to my phone as mine. I know. Tell me you don't know. Any, tell me you don't know anything about phones. Without telling me you don't know anything about phones. I know. Right, that. I'm, I'm going to begin uh, spamming one. No, I'm going to begin. There's no sugar emoji. There is. There's a, a candy. I said a candy. Did you say that? Yes. You, you, t- tell me you're not an active listener. This nigga just not listening to anything. Just talking about worry about he what he's saying and what I'm saying. Did, did Monet say candy? Can we... I did. I, I I am beginning spamming a Monet's wall with uh with candy. Everyone, please please spam Monet's wall with and candy. And you know what? And I don't don't spice. Don't Monet did say candy. 
Thank she you, She said Jacob. sugar, and then after, she said candy. Thank you. After. And you know what? After. And don't, don't waste the time by, by spamming Bob with that, with that chili pepper. Put some fucking green apples on that bitch. Now, go on his TikTok, go on his Instagram, and go on his Twitter. And every tweet that Bob tweets over the next week, put some motherfucking green apples in that bitch. Damn, that's a heavy lift. They're not gonna. They're not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, they are. The Monation is loyal, baby. You, are, you, you swear the Monation. The Monation are not bobbleheads. They're not fickle. The Monation is. They we're loyal. We're strong. The Monation is garbage. You you mispronounced garbage. <laughs> oh my God, garbage. <laughs> Bitch. The garbage. Monation, the Monation is keeping your lights on. Okay. <laughs> know that. Black like that. One time in one of the towels we were at, Monet. I, like, I don't do this. Monet does this. At one time, Monet was like, we're saying something. And she was like, yeah, Monet should rise up. And then like, that is not true. You are a liar. You and are- then the people cheered. And then I was like, all right, let's do it. Baba heads make some noise. And that we, is, we, Bob is y'all. If you I, were if there in the audience, y'all if you were there in the audience, you were there. Y'all believe that shit if you want to. That is not true. Bob, the way Bob will should we, should, invent should we, should we, history. Should we, should we do the movie call, Patty? The way that Bob will ev- invent history. That Do you want to call Patty? I'll, I'll let you call your assistant. Do you want to call him? Eating your damn church's chicken. Do you want to call Patty? You can call, you can call your assistant and he will even say that happened, honey. It, Patty's probably asleep. It isn't 10. Oh, all right, we can say that. It's 10 o'clock at night. Well, you can't say what time it is? Yeah, we can. Could you remember that time? Yeah, and they cheered loudly. Just, and they, when you said Baba, they cheered loudly for you too. This louder, you. louder, <laughs> not bigger, bigger. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, hang up, cause you remember the truth. I bigger, not remember the truth, Bob. You are literally full of shit. Yeah, hang up. Patty's not gonna answer. Please leave your message. Oh, not his number. Bigger. Um. Anyway. Um, I'm excited. What, what's next episode? It's an acting challenge, right? Nope. Sewing. They're sewing. And Malaysia nope, said. it's a room decoration challenge. Whoa, they were sewing clothes. No, I, I believe it's outfits made out of room decoration. That's yeah. Like rip apart. I think so. That's what it looked like to me. Thank you, Jacob. Trailer. Again, Bob is not an active listener. Bob okay, listens to hear no, what the hell no, he wants. Okay, first, it's not active listening. Watching a TV show is not active listening, first of all. And secondly, she had the big rooms, and then at one point, Malaysia does say, I've never sewn anything, but the whole thing was like these big rooms. I didn't see the rooms. Like, so so who's that active listening? No, uh-huh. that, that, I, I, you don't have to listen to, uh, to listening Honey. watching on the same thing now? Yeah. Anyway, no, I have to no. go. I have to go. Don't you, no. have, don't you have to go somewhere? Bye. No, you have to go somewhere. Go. Go. Disappear, ghost. Go anywhere from high. The next episode is caught titled House of Fashion. So I believe they have to make their own garments out of um, these. Out so of maybe it's both. Hair. Oh, Jacob, go I know. Go in the bathroom hide. Go and hide. Jacob, you, did, you, didn't even see the, you didn't even see the rooms. You never but, saw the rooms. Go in the bathroom and hide. They were literally going sewing hide. things. And, they, and Malaysia had Disappear, an outfit ghost. on. And then another Disappear, bitch had an outfit ghost. on. They were wearing clothes that they made. Duh. Disappear, ghost. You need to act your age and not your not your um your shoe size. You are a very old lady. You need to play your age and not twelve. Not twelve. Bye. Anyway, I really do have to go. Bye. Oh, yeah, leave. Leave right now. I'm not. Yeah. Well, Jacob leave has now. To stop the recording so that I think. Yeah, uh, and then when he does leave.